What do you want to go? Uh, what do you want to do? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I design visual systems in my bullet journal. So if you're interested in ideas for unique bullet journal spreads for different areas of your life that are very functional, minimal, easy to set up, yet still aesthetic, then make sure to subscribe. So in this video, I'll be creating a where do you want to eat spread for the foodie in me. So if you're a foodie too, maybe you can relate to those times where you and your friends or partner can't decide where to eat when you go out. Or maybe you read about a cool new restaurant to check out but then forgot about it or where it was or what it was called and then eventually you're taking so long to decide that someone gets hangry so let me know in the comments if you can relate but it happens to me and my husband so many times so i decided to make a spread in my bullet journal so jumping straight to the setup I know I could always just make a list of all the new cafes and restaurants to check out and I've actually done that before but I realized that sometimes when me and my husband choose where we want to eat, we actually take into account the neighborhood we want to hang out in and also how to get there in case we're too lazy to walk around a lot. So instead, I decided that the best way is to create a map to go with this list where I can indicate all of our favorite neighborhoods as well as other information like our go-to bus routes and subway routes. And by the way, don't worry about having to draw the map from scratch. I actually just took a printout. So here I'm just going to quickly show you how I did that. So first I went to Google My Maps and that's Google My Maps, not Google Maps. And the reason being is that My Maps have different types of map styles to choose from. And I wanted a cleaner layout compared to what I get in Google Maps. Of course, if your city has a more accurate and a better map website, then you can use that as well. So in my case, I'm just choosing this light political base map style because to me it looks the cleanest. And then I'm just zooming in to make sure that my window encompasses all of the neighborhoods we go to so that nothing will be cropped out. And then I'm simply using the snipping tool to create an approximate snapshot of this area in portrait form, which I will then copy paste into Microsoft Word. And then in Word, you can always adjust the brightness and contrast of the image. I didn't bother turning it into a black and white image because I'll just print it direct as black and white. I will, however, make sure that the image is big enough to cover my A5 notebook. So I just did a quick check by flipping the orientation of the A4 page layout into landscape and then stretching the image so that it covers the whole half of the page, which is the size of an A5. And then I just flipped the orientation back to portrait again so that I'll have enough margin on all sides for printing. So here is my printout. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting out the margin and gluing it to this side of the spread and then trimming the edges and that's it. I have a base map. So you can see that my base map is really light and subtle, which is exactly how I wanted it so that it won't end up looking very busy. But I still wanted to add a few defining features so I can orient myself better to this map. So here you can see I am coloring in the water bodies in dark blue and just drawing over our major roads in gray so that it's easier to see where the neighborhood districts are. And then next, I'm coloring in all the different neighborhoods using different colored midliners, midliner highlighters. And I didn't want to be too worried about being very accurate about the boundaries because what's more important is knowing where the general districts are. Another thing I'm doing is I'm drawing in our most typically used subway lines and bus line. And the reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes when we're lazy, we want to go somewhere that is easier to travel to and we won't have to walk as much. And the other reason is it's also more convenient for us to orient the approximate locations of these places around major subway stations instead of just roads and districts. So in my case, I'm using purple for purple line and then red for our red line. And then I'm just using my app as a guide as to where the subway lines are approximately in my map as well as where the stations are located but if your base map already has that information then i guess that will be a lot quicker oh and before i forget i'm just drawing down this pin to represent where home is and then moving on to this side of the spread this is where i'm going to be listing all of the cafes and restaurants i want to check out 
So the easiest way to do this is by category. So in my case, we have three go-to categories, um, Western, ethnic or Asian, and then cafes or dessert places. So I'm just drawing a very simple grid to divide this page into four quadrants. And then on the first quadrant, I'm just using this space to draw in uh, my title, which is in the form of a doodle. And then below that, I'm adding in a uh, legend of the shapes or icons I'll be using for each category, as well as the color legend for the neighborhoods. And then next, I'm simply dumping in the list of restaurants or cafes according to each category. So you can see here that I'm referring to my foodie guides and articles on the restaurants to check out. And then I'm just numbering them in order and then drawing the corresponding shape or icon around the number according to the legend. So I could use the same key in the map when I draw down its location. I also intentionally used only a black pen in writing down the restaurants and also the key so that if I'm on the go and I learn about a new place, I can just quickly note it down with just any black pen I have on hand. And then on this side, I'm drawing five dots as a placeholder for our rating in our future. I think ratings are actually quite useful um, in order to remember which places were really good so we can go back and which ones are not that great so that, I, so that we won't go back and also which ones uh, we haven't tried out yet in case we want to try something new. And then finally, on the map side of the spread, I'm just going to draw the approximate locations of each of these places using the same key. Again, it doesn't have to be accurate. It only has to be the approximate uh, location according to its proximity to landmarks like subway stations or roads. And let's say one restaurant has multiple branches, then I can actually just draw those branches in all the different districts but using the same key, so that's great. Okay, so now that my spread is all set up, I want to show you how I use it, but instead of just narrating it myself, I'm gonna let you listen in the actual discussion me and my husband had earlier to decide where to have dinner this Sunday. Where do you want to go? Uh, or what do you want to eat? I feel like eating Western or like Korean. Mm, but Korean. Korean. I have a few Korean here. Three Korean. I know which place to go. Burger Plus. Oh yeah. Is the Korean fusion of Korean and Western? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in Clarkey. I know. Yeah, let's go there. Okay. Either there or if we go to here, right? That's um, Chinatown. Yeah, so you have uh Meat Smith and also nearby there's also another Korean. Or we go Burger Plus. There is the local area. Yeah. This one will take a lot of walking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Today, maybe we'll okay. keep it. So we'll just take purple longer. line. Okay. Can no? Can. We will go there some other day. Yeah. Okay, so we're lazy. Yeah. So let's just take purple line. Yes. And go here. Yes. Okay. Let's go now. Now? Okay, so how would you rate it? Out of five stars, yeah. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four. I'd say four. It's not the same as the. Two, three, four. Four. So that's it? Yeah. Have viewers, you see how cool and interesting this is and how helpful it is to a foodie like me. <laughs> so please subscribe if you want to keep seeing such helpful things 
on the bullet journal. <laughs> Thank you.